So by now, you've probably met Alexa. Amazon's fun, if occasionally not so bright, voice assistant lives in speakers, smaller speakers, battery-powered speakers, your phone, and maybe even your car. All those gadgets have one thing in common. The only way to interact with Alexa is to talk to Alexa. But now Amazon's giving its assistant a face. This lump of a thing is the Echo Show, the new $230 gadget from Amazon. It's Alexa with a touchscreen. That means you can still do all of the standard Alexa things. You can set timers, buy stuff on Amazon, play music, buy more stuff on Amazon, answer simple questions, and buy more stuff on Amazon. If you don't look at the Echo Show while you're talking to it, you'll use it just like a normal Echo. That's good and bad, by the way. Alexa is really good at a lot of things, but it can also be kind of dumb sometimes. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. It knows the latest Bruno Mars song is That's What I Like, but can't figure out which Beatles album came first. Here's the latest album by the Beatles. The screen's job is to constantly add to what you're asking for, or to what Alexa's showing you. If you play a song, the Echo Show will show lyrics on its 7-inch screen. If you set a timer, it'll show you the timer. Have you ever tried to order shoes on an Echo? It's weird. On the show, you can actually see what you're buying and make sure you're choosing the right thing. Having a screen and a camera also lets Alexa do a bunch of new things, too. It's a really good smart home controller, for one thing. You can also watch videos on YouTube or TV shows through Amazon just by asking for what you want. It's really cool when it works, but it doesn't always work. How can it possibly know which kitten video I want to watch? You can also use the show for video chat with anyone who has an Echo device or even just uses the Alexa app. There's also the slightly creepy drop-in feature, but I can't imagine ever really using that. You should be really careful and think long and hard before you put a camera like this into your house, but personally, it doesn't really bother me. For me, the Echo has always been most useful in the kitchen, and the Echo Show is very much the same way. I can look up a recipe and actually keep it in front of me while I work. I can set a bunch of timers, and then convert cups to tablespoons because I can't find my measuring cups. A lot of developers are going to build really cool games, video apps, and who knows what else to work on this device that's front and center in your house. An Echo with a screen is a really cool idea. But there are a few things Amazon did here that I just don't like. I mean, look at the thing itself. Can you imagine this in your super minimalist HGTV kitchen? No. The screen doesn't move either, which might make it hard to see and use from certain angles. And though it is a touchscreen, you're not really supposed to use it that way. The actual interface on the thing is sparse and sort of confusing. I keep wanting to use it like a tablet because it basically is a tablet, but Amazon just wants you to talk to the Echo Show. It can get kind of confusing. Still, the Echo Show is a really useful device, especially if you're already an Alexa person. One word of warning though, don't put this thing near your bed because sometimes the screen comes on for no reason and it is bright. But in your kitchen or in your living room, this is the most versatile and useful version of Alexa yet. It's not much to look at, but it's beautiful on the inside. And that's really what counts.